Nigeria is more important to me than any party. And where we are now, anyone, anybody, any Nigerian who is not thinking Nigeria first, I just wonder why, why, why the person then calls the nation Nigeria is nation. If your party, why I, I, if your party is allowed to get away with this nonsense, as I've, you know, said in different forums that as far as I'm, I'm concerned, PDP is a Yahoo Yahoo organization. How do I mean? Because you wrote something in black and white called constitution. And people continued following you according to the dictates of that constitution. It gets to their turn. You now say, oh, no, you want to win election first. How do you win election when there is no justice on the table? When there is no equity on the table? When there is no fairness on the table? And by the way, the candidate you brought, thank God you recognize, because so many of them now forget that I worked my ass out for Atiku in 2019. A lot of people have forgotten that. I staked everything I had. It had nothing to do with it. It was my own personal resources and personal uh, access to any content I had that I used to campaign for Atiku. And they know the contribution I brought to the table. I followed that campaign up to Supreme Court level until when the Supreme Court gave judgment. That was when I gave up. And all through the process in court, Atiku never showed up in court for one day. How can you follow a general who abandons his soldiers at the war front and takes off? When we went to put our court to, for the ticket, right, the support groups that are, we bought his form in 2019, we and um, my, my little couple was contributed to purchase of uh, Atiku's form in 2019. And the support groups who bought that ticket form, Atiku wept and said for the past 30 days of his political career that he has never experienced 30 this. Years. 30 years. That he had never experienced it, that people come to take from him. But here we were. We went and bought his form for him. And he wept that day. And then assured the, the support groups that first, that we should go, uh, that we, we will go to Port Harcourt and believe in God that we're going to win and get the ticket. That once the ticket, we get the ticket, that the campaign structure will be organized in a way that all the support groups Will be in the forefront for that campaign. But what happened? Immediately, Atiku got the ticket in Portacot. Two days later, he jetted out to Dubai. And those who worked against him during the primaries now started coming down there. And Atiku was, of course, throwing his dollars and all of that. And the support groups were left in the cold. The party took over the structure and never made any organ organizational uh, arrangement to capture the the very well organized support groups that Atiku had in 2019. And so when at the polling units, of course, the support groups who had been abandoned, now felt, well, who was there to defend uh, the votes? No. And then when, they, when Buhari also stole the, the, the mandate, the support groups that ought to be on the street to defend the mandate that they gave to Atiku, they were not there because the candidates didn't mean well for them, didn't care about them. And when they went to court, the candidate eloped and was nowhere to be found. That is the, the same person that your, your party went to reward. And then here you are. People are vilifying. The, part, the candidate so-called is vilifying uh, 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 the only army or soldier or general that the party seemed to have had since 2015, which is Governor Wiki. You see, the truth is that this innocent blood that has been shed in Nigeria every day, all right, the God, both the gods of the land and the supreme being himself would definitely intervene. He still rules in the affairs of men. And I think sincerely that is why the confusion in your party is going on. Because if not, what is what is what is what, what why did I think we make the mistake that he made when you set up a committee? If you knew you were going to unilaterally decide who was going to be your running mate, why set up a committee? You set up a 17-man committee, and then 13 of them signed in support of the choice of wiki and then it was submitted to you and then you come out and went against 13. Uh, it doesn't make sense so for me the confusion that Atiku is facing right now is uh, it's a it's, it's more like uh, a ricochet it's more like a boomerang all right when you shoot a gun and it turns back the bullet comes to you that is what is going on now for us as citizens of Nigeria, it's beyond party. P2B is a movement. 
and the vehicle by which we are moving to the villa is Labour Party. Not because, oh, that it is about party, but simply because we have seen a man who understands that the Nigerian people are being slaughtered by the circles, that the youth of Nigeria, that they are at home and that the leaders don't care about they are going to school, that there is no plan from this crop of so-called leaders, all right, for the future of Nigeria. We have seen a man who could go out to study how a country like Egypt is giving its citizens 24 hours light. And then he's coming back to just do one thing, replicate that. All we right. have seen a man who has a genuine desire to see it. Did you see the prayer that Peter B prayed at the Dunamis event? All that he's asked God was, please, this is the only nation we have. God, please save Nigeria. God, please rescue Nigeria. That is leadership. Thank you very One much. One who stares hope. Your uh, party, Nandi. as far as we're concerned, is gone and only will be buried when uh, in February 2023 we will be having the if general Ifani from Indonesia, I give you uh, 60 seconds. If Ifani, let's hear you. Okay, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir, for okay. what the... Yeah, yeah thank you, sir, for... Another, okay. Uh, I want to tell the uh, PDP brother that uh, the article, Kama is against him. That is the fact. Kama is against Atiku because in 2014, the same Atiku is the person they use in house in Matama to campaign against the same PDP. So after destroying the house, you cannot come and reap what you did not sow. So that is why P2B will definitely win all of them in 2023. And Atiku, Atiku, we don't need we don't need a leader who is older. We don't need the president. We need a leader. Atiku is older than Nigeria. That is why he cannot respect the constitution. We don't need a person. We have we had a threat. We win 14. We don't need such a, we don't need such people because those people will turn things upside down. And it's not only Fulani, it's in Nigeria. We have many tribes in Nigeria. Let others try. So I believe. Kama is against Atiku. 2023, right. by special grace of Almighty, P2B will win. Thank you, sir. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Dom, you are up. Well, I want to thank um, Mazi for having been very, very unkind to me today. <laughs> Not to you. To your part. You You're know, my friend you know, and brother. You, you know, the beauty of this thing is this. You heard it when he said I'm the Director General of Senator Garibe Agam Garibe Campaign Organization. Yes. That's the man who runs a movement in Northern Cross River. That's a man who has changed lives and affected lives. That's a senator who's building roads, building schools, renovating, bringing in health services, changing fortunes of young men. And it belongs to the party called PDP. And if you must understand what it means for a man to be a party member. I have been in this party since 1998. I've seen some good and bad people. I've spoken against some of them. And like I said here, Convince me. Don't be hard on me. It's not on you. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Convince us. Don't be hard on us. Convince your party? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We are looking to a new Nigerian. I think Nigerian. And you know how I do when I say work on us. Convince us. Look, my party has the capacity to reconcile. My party has intentions to put Nigerian back on track. Nah. My party may have made a few mistakes. These mistakes are mistakes that can be sorted out. As I speak with you, listen, I may not be given to the people I'm talking about, but I'm a party man. I don't like people flirting. I think Nigeria, and I believe the country has a direction. And I also know that if you come to where I come from, Ogoja, you come to Northern Cross River, you will not want me to leave my party. Convince me to look away. I haven't said leave your party. Convince me to look I away. I said copy and paste the 2015 template. Your your party chairman, Dr. Uh, Moazu, Adamu Moazu, worked against the candidate I of your party. This. Copy and paste. I know. Stay in there and do the right thing. That's what no, I said. No, hold on. If you people have invested in one of us, you people who? Your labor investment is part of us. It's a creature of our investment. If you want to give us one of us, would you be kind enough to be a little more convincing? No, I don't understand that. Peter Obi was governor of uh, Anambra State Hold under on. Apuga. Oh, oh, so for eight was, years. So there was never your a party has so never added anything so to the existence never, of Peter Obi. So the only Obi. moment, the only moment your party one tried second, any moment was, was when you tried to ride no, on his popularity by giving there, him the VP position no, in 2019. Check your records again. Was there a Peter Obi governor by any means under PDP? Not under PDP. Never. Was, was there? Never. At any time? Never. Victor. He was, was, was Africa. Was there Africa a PDP for eight years. special advisor to the president at any time? 
Well, he had hold finished on. serving as uh, after governor and did very well in Anambra State. Your record Why not? Your party, no, 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 your party no, no, no. leadership no, no, no. at that time no. cast in on what he had. Hold on. You know, in him. Is Peter B not as old as one of the two we are talking about? Peter B is 61 years old. But just younger. Peter B is just 61 years old. But younger. So what we look at, <laughs> he relates my, with my with my generation. No, no, I connect with you directly. I connect with him. Yes. But I'm saying to you tonight, yes, and to all labor faithfuls and Peter B believers, yes, try to be more convincing and be in the field. Don't teach us how that no, we no, no, win no, no, no. we I'll want to you. win you and win you thoroughly. Okay. There's no there see, no there's way. no begging the issue here. The we issue. understand that you, you want know. to you want to by every means and twist the, the 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 people of Nigeria and still go back to the villa. But the point is that we you have done 16 it. years, have you have done 16 BBC, years, right? we tested 16 years of your party, Which is and your that. party could not give us 24 hours light. And was, we will not try this, we, this. You, we won't try it again. You were with us then. You no, I wasn't away. with you. No, 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 excuse no, no, me, please. You you. I have never you been a us. member of your party. So what were you doing? I have rather spy? supported you candidates. Of my party? I have rather you supported you candidates of your party. You Who me? meant where? You were with me, Sokoto, in your life. Yes, yes. yes. So you were in 2019, yes. Because I wanted to and rescue so my hand, my, my rescue, country from the hands of the current rescue. leadership. Rescue yes. you in front of the media. You yes, for us. yes. Right. That's who I am I, always. I, I, anywhere I, I belong, I, I stay there. I but you can't now. put it I anywhere put it that I have any card of your party. Gentlemen, I've never carried your card. We, we have but no, I have supported we candidates have no, of your no, party. No, yes, it's okay. it's okay. that's all right. Thank you. Come back and do what? A party that cannot reward loyalty. It's okay. A party that stamps its members. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's been a wonderful session having you on the program tonight. Thanks to Obi Oji, who has joined us from the U.S. Obi, thank you very much. Paul Iwunze has also joined us from the U.S. Thank you, Paul. Ifani has joined from Indonesia. Ifani, we appreciate you. Francis Mweke from Germany. Thank you very much. DK Sam DK, Houston, Texas, U.S. Thank you. And Paul Archer from Italy. Thank you very much. And in the studio, Mazen Namdi Rebu, convener, indigenous people of Nigeria, has joined us. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We appreciate Thank you. you. Uh, what you. a great time. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you.